Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we got to the Metro Kingdom, which is under attack. Get it? Like in, um, Up Up Girls? <laughs> City of Townsville is under attack. Anyway, yeah, so we have to fight off that Mecha Wiggler, who is up there on top of the tower, in order to save this city and be able to do basically anything else here, because none of the other moons are available yet. Well, a few of them are. We'll be getting a few moons on the way over there, but most of them aren't available. Uh. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, um, so yeah, at the beginning, this is just a little bit of a linear sort of danger level. Um, there's a bunch of checkpoints here which will not be here later, which is kind of interesting. Once you save New Donk City, like, most of this layout changes, and the checkpoints just, just sort of disappear, which is quite strange, really. Uh, we get to see the motor scooter here. I think there's maybe somewhere else in the game you can get these earlier, but we couldn't reach it. Anyway, here's the motor scooter. It's really good actually um like it looks gimmicky and silly but like between the way the rumble works which is really really good although you can't see that obviously and just the stuff you do with this thing it's a lot of fun also you can use it for some pretty cool glitches which i'll probably be showing off later on oh maybe not though um I don't know if you have to complete all the story for that glitch to happen or not. Um, those, like, bugs, you can just kick them over before they turn into flies, but once they've changed into flies, they become dangerous. Oh yeah, that's basically the glitch. If you put the bike on a wall or a slope of some kind, it, it gets really confused. <laughs> and that lets you do some more interesting things, obviously. Not just, you know, existing. Basically, you can use it to push certain other objects out of bounds later on. We may have some trouble here. <laughs> you have to do a little bit of tight platforming at the beginning here, being a new donk here, in order to reach the city hall, which is, of course, our destination. Uh, later on, that big wall won't be there, and it'll be a lot easier to get through, but for now, yeah. Uh, you can also capture one of these tanks, which makes, like, fighting off the other monsters and stuff much easier. But we're not going to do that, because, as mentioned before, capturing cancels out the fact that we're crouching. So, we're just going to try to go with that. Alright, uh, you can actually just jump over to that building, and just make your way across that way, but I think following the intended path is probably a bit easier. So, let's have a look. Uh, I think those blocks just have, like, coins in them or something, because there's no possible way to get to that later on. I believe they're not even there later on, actually. Uh, there is a moon just around here somewhere, if I can remember where. Also, you can capture these Goombas if you want, but it's kind of pointless. There's nothing to do with them around here. The floor isn't slippery, so using Goomba feet doesn't help you, and... So you can't really stack them to reach anything interesting, so yeah, not much point. Uh, I believe just here, behind these crates here, if I can just break him, we can get the first moon that is available at this point. Uh, there aren't very many moons available this, uh, available this early in the level. Uh, I think there's three maybe, and then once you've done the um, first story mission, a bunch of other stuff unlocks and you can get a bunch more moons. Uh, we can't actually do the whole story here, because I know for a fact that the last story mission involved the 2D section that we can't enter. So, we will not be doing that, basically. Uh, also, I am taking a lot of damage here. I was hoping to get that heart before I got hit again, but I didn't. And now I'm a tank. The tank controls are kind of strange, because you use the Y button. You'd think it would be like... R or something because you're shooting, but it's not because that's how you exit a capture. I have a lot of trouble just getting into that little hole there. I just want to get that heart. <laughs> if I become the tank, it might be easier. Not really. 
If I had access to regular jumps, this would not be a hassle, but sadly I don't. Oh, there we go, that trick worked. <laughs> yeah, you can do some really interesting things by getting Cappy into weird positions. That was a good demonstration of that fact. Uh, pretty sure you can actually buy a moon this early, and I might do that just to see exactly how many moons you can get before saving the city. I know it's less than 20 because you have to save the city. <laughs> You can get up to most places, like, it's a lot easier to get up higher once you've, you know, saved New Dog City and all that, because when you've saved the city, it unlocks a bunch of extra power lines and things, and some of these walls are gone, so much easier to navigate in a more versatile fashion than before. Um, yeah, I know, right? Okay, so here's the shop. I believe you can buy a moon here at the very beginning. Which, because you can only buy one moon, you can't actually use that to skip saving the town. But you can get a moon here during the early part by doing that. And I think there are two more moons maybe that you can get in New Donk City before you've saved it. Once you've done, once you have saved it, there's a whole bunch of moons to get, obviously. But before doing so, you're a lot more restricted. Uh, Tank, let's just get some help from this tank here to deal with some of this. Tanks can blow up a lot of stuff. You can destroy all these cars, which is kind of funny. It's pretty cool. Um, also, there's a heart there, but I don't need it now because I've got a moon. Uh, every moon you get heals you to full health. So yeah. Um, let me see here. See, over there, that pillar I was looking at earlier, obviously you meant to blow that up and have it topple like that. I wonder if that gets us to anything interesting. I, mean, I guess it gets us to those two blocks, but I don't know why I would care about that. There might be a heart in one of them, but I don't need any hearts now, so... Oh my god. <laughs> This might be a long video, or I might stop it after 10 moons and just do the second half later. We'll see how we go. Or both, it might be a long video and I might have to stop it after half the moons are done. I should have gotten the checkpoint over there before coming back, but I didn't. So that was a mistake. Oof. Yeah, so these ledges are kind of small, which makes it kind of scary to platform around on them. Oh yeah, also bouncing off an enemy has the same sort of effect as bouncing off Cappy. It takes you out of, like, rolling mode and back into regular mode. So that might be useful at some point. I don't know, bouncing off Cappy is usually very easy. Maybe in a cappy -less section I might try bouncing off an enemy in order to stop rolling. Maybe. Anyway, those flies are, like, really scary. Uh, when they're just grubs, they're not a big deal, but once they turn into flies, you pretty much just have to kill them with a cap, and we can't really do that. Um, Alright, so this is this is Dudong City Hall here. This is the building we need to climb. So we're going to head over here, to where the stairs are. Because they are stairs, we might just need to waddle our way up. Fortunately, in this game, waddling does not result in sliding on the stairs. Unlike in 3D World and some of the other previous Mario titles, where if you're crouching at all, like, touching a slope just makes you start sliding. Here, you only start, like, rolling down if you're already rolling, which makes things a bit easier. Um, we can take that power line to get up, but we can also go over here and do some awesome wall jumps. So let's do some awesome wall jumps. As you can see, awesome wall jumps are awesome. You would have to avoid that if you didn't want to get any purple coins for some reason, but... Yeah, uh, there's a moon up there that we can get, and I believe there's another moon maybe down there? Doesn't look like it. No, of course I'm, I'm not I'm not with that guy. Why would I be that guy? 
Show the enemy Mario is. This is a city like named after our adventures. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, here's a moon. Swaying in the breeze. I think there's one more that I can get around here somewhere. I remember there being another one. Uh, maybe over there on that building? Uh, yeah, there it is. See? See it? Over there? Uh, it's a little tricky to reach. Especially if you do that and get yourself blocked. I think I need one of the tanks to help me. Yeah, just blast our way through here. Um, the actual bus fight also involves using one of these tanks, so it won't, will be pretty much unchanged uh, when we get to it, which is shortly. Uh, he has got to do some awesome wall jumps and not do that, for example, because that ruins it. Okay, there we go. A few more awesome wall jumps and we have the fourth moon. I think that's all the moons we can get without doing the first story moon. Go to sandwich. So yeah, four out of ten. Four out of twenty, actually. So yeah, you definitely do need to do the first story moon in order to get everything you need here. Which is what I thought. I just wanted to try to wander around and gather some more moons and see if I could avoid it. But no, you can't. Uh, let's walk back up there just to save some, save some video time. I'm sure I already saw how to get up there. Because I did it. <laughs> Alright, so the next part is that we go over to Nudong City Hall over here, which has a disgusting gigantic advertisement on it, and we head in here in order to climb up the tower from the inside, because you can't climb from the outside until later, once the power's been restored. So this is a little bit of a platforming challenge area that you have to do. It's not super difficult, but it might be a bit harder with our restrictions. So we'll see how we go. Alright, can't go that way. Also, there's a lot of these flies in here. Hang on, I think there's another moon here actually. Maybe you can get to five. Okay, so you have to hold the stick up and shake in order to climb fast. That's really annoying. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, there's not definitely another moon up here, so you can get to five moons without actually saving the city, which is interesting. Yeah! Maybe the sixth one? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, I think there's some coins up here. Yeah, so that's not too exciting. more of these bugs that grow up into flies instantly because creepy. Uh, we took some damage there, but it's not a big deal because if we hit one of these blocks behind us... Is this one? Okay, it's not those blocks. There's some blocks just around here somewhere. I think it's that set of blocks. Where if you hit one of them, it gives you a life up heart, which of course heals you to full health and then double doubles your whole health. But da 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 Which is good because we need that for the upcoming boss fight we're about to do. So yeah, we have five moons already. Yes, Kathy, we're still not high enough. Oh, a couple of little Goombas in there. Oh dear. Who's your friend? He'll be dead now, sorry. Anyway, um, you have to use this lightning pole to get up. I don't think there's any other way. You can wander around down there and look at some other stuff if you want, but there's not much point. And there's the Mecha Wiggle we'll be fighting. So you just have to go up there. The Mecha Wiggle will attack. This fight is not very hard. There is a slightly harder version of it later, but this version's pretty easy. Now that I've said that, I'm probably going to die. Because I'm playing a video for the internet. Not playing, playing a video game for the internet, and I just claim that something isn't difficult. You know what that means? 
Also, that means that Mario having no fall damage in this game is canon because it happened in a cutscene. Which is kind of interesting. If you think about it. So yeah, you just gotta uh, not do that. What did I just, what did I just do? <laughs> I don't know how I managed to get out of that just get out of the tank and just just then. Maybe the rubber band shifted a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, this is this fight is completely unchanged. I think I just tapped the L button actually. Okay, I need to be a little bit more careful. There, so once you've shot him a bunch of times, he goes into this mode where you can just blast away and do a whole bunch of damage. Then, this is kind of the hardest part, but it's still not very difficult. You just gotta not be on that line when the Wiggler judges through, and you'll be fine. Uh, this, these vehicles do have motion control for aiming, but you can just use the right stick, and that's what I'm doing here because it's just simpler. Ugh. It's not like something like Splatoon where you need to be really precise and really fast with your aiming, in which having a little bit of tilt control is actually better. Uh, those little, like, lightning ball things will attack and will hurt you if they hit you, so it's kind of good to shoot them out of the air before they do. Uh, again, this is pretty easy. The wiggle's a bit longer now, I think. I think it, I think it might grow longer. Um, but yeah, you just gotta keep blasting away. I think I took some damage. Apparently I didn't, so... Yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Yeah, it, the pink ones you already hit stay hit, so it's it's not very difficult. Then it becomes vulnerable again, and you can just blast away, and see, it only takes two rounds, so it's a very easy boss. Probably they made it easy on purpose, because it's the only, like, it's, well, it's not the only mandatory boss, it's one of the few mandatory bosses in this game. Whereas they could make some of the other bosses harder, because you can skip them. <laughs> Alright, so that's New Donk City saved. We now have nine moons, I think. I'll grab one more and call out a video, I think. So we can do New Donk City in two parts, rather than having to do it all at once because it's quite a long level. So this is New Donk City by day, without the rain. And everything's been repaired, and it looks fantastic. So we're going to go have a look for a moon and see what we can do. Uh, actually, we need two more moons, which is good, because I saw one right there, and it's too easy. <laughs> yeah, so there's a moon in here, which I think I think you, you couldn't even get in here before. It, like, the moon wasn't there before, but you also couldn't get in, because there was, like, a blockage in this spot to stop you from entering it. I'm not sure what the point is if the moon's not there anyway to block it off, but you know, whatever. And here's the music from John City, it's great. Also, yeah, new checkpoints. For some reason, they gave you a bunch of checkpoints earlier that now don't exist anymore. I don't know, the beginning of New York City is weird. Um, anyway, yeah, so the city is now available to play with and do various things with. There's a bunch of fun stuff to do around here. We can go and do some of the story. Um, I might do that next time. As mentioned, we can't do the last story moon, so we won't get a multi-moon out of it. But we can have a look at some of the story. Actually, we can do every other story moon, I'm pretty sure. Also, these poles are kind of hilarious. Basically, you can capture them, and it's, it's just a hat on the pole. Just, 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 just like that. You can just go, just fling yourself in various directions. <laughs> um, that car is stuck there. It's going to get moved partway through the storyline. At which point we will be able to go down there. Are you breaking the fourth wall? Or are you, like, talking about something else? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, let's see, we can open this dumpster here, which... It's surprisingly a good idea, because it has a life-up heart in it. I 
think we might head over to Captain Toad, who is hanging out down here. We haven't been able to visit Captain Toad very much. Um, because you have to do the story in some areas in order to see him at all, and he only shows up after doing the story in certain other areas, and you don't need that many moons, etc. Anyway, he'll give us a moon. Yeah! There is a Captain Toad moon in every level of the game, but yeah, this is the first one we managed to get. <laughs> Uh, please don't fall, Mario. Thank you. Alright, so that's 10 moons. I think we will cut off the video there, because 20 minutes is a good length for a video. Uh, this dump is full of coins instead. It's like that chest back in Pastorina. So, if you wanted a bunch more money, you can just break this dumpster open. It only happens once, so it stays open after that, so you can't respawn it to get more money. Which is a bit sad. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, have a great day, y'all. And I'll be back in the next video to 